All right, y'all. What's the word with it, man? What's the word with the YouTube too, man? I right, man, we finna react to man. A rapper killed two, two. Some rapper, man. I don't know him. I ain't never heard of him. Uh, I ain't watched the video yet, so I just tapped in. You know, man. You know, man. You know, man. I gotta come with the bangers, man. I drop. I've been dropping every single day consistently, man. I just need y'all to like, comment, subscribe, man. And just leave a comment, bro. I respond to if you go if you go to any of my videos, I respond to every last person. You know? Tap in all the social medias, you see it, man. I'm just saying, you know. You know. You know. But we figured right into it, man, gang. I ain't if keep wasting y'all time, man. Calm down. Man, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 1090 Jake, man. I'm rocking with y'all, y'all rocking with me. And for this video, we're gonna be speaking on a man that was shot and killed. Only days after running down on his op, while his op was in his bed. July 12th, 2022, the Niagara Falls Police Department responded to a call for shots fired in the area of 9th Street and Pine Ave. Officers arrived locating a black male laying in the street in front of the Wedge Liquor Store suffering from at least one gunshot wound. Paramedics arrived on scene and attempted life-saving measures, but the young man was pronounced dead. He was identified as 22-year-old Jason Chapman and unknown to the Niagara Falls Police Department. But just 30 minutes away in his hometown of Buffalo, New York, he was known as the rapper K. Brazi and very well known to the police. Back in 2018, K. Brazi would make the news after a 19-year-old was shot in the city's east side. The victim would make his way to a hospital by himself before being transported by ambulance to another hospital in serious condition. Just days later, 18-year-old K. Brazi was arrested with a friend, and both men were charged with criminal possession of a weapon, but Brazi was also charged with felony assault and labeled the shooter. The victim would undergo surgery and remain hospitalized for the next four weeks before recovering, and eight months after the shooting, K. Brazi would plead guilty, making the news yet again, this time as the man who admitted to shooting another. Bro, I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. Like, why would you do that? Like, I don't understand. Like, I mean, like, if, like, they don't have proof. Like, what the f- what the f- I mean, I don't know. People probably might do it, try to earn stripes. Like, yeah, I did it. Yeah, I did it. Probably in the streets and all that stuff like that. But other than that, like, bro, if you good, what the fuck is you admitting it for? Like, in all honesty, it's not gonna help your situation. It's not. Oh, that's still going to jail for a long ass time if you admit to shooting a motherfucker, regardless. If it ain't self defense, you going to jail for hell. I'm just telling you, stop doing that. It's unclear what his exact punishment was at sentencing, but it's obvious it had little to any effect on him. Hey, as he hey, that getting much sturdy. More problem for his ops in this city. from New York. Not only was K. Brazi bold. He'd record and post multiple videos to his Facebook, running down on his ops. Streets, streets to my, streets to my, fuck you too, you am too, you pussy. I'm not worried about nothing. You see me, you see me right here. Streets to my, you ain't get on shit till your man hopped on. To you, man, how you be that big and man? Come on, man, you just walking like. And if y'all get walked down on, what is you gonna do, bro? Like, you have to shoot. You a big target. I'm not gonna hold you. Like, you gotta shoot. Like, you gotta blow that motherfucker. Because you running, boy, you got a death wish. You got a death wish. I ain't even gonna talk about you. But, boy, that is, you gonna be fucked up. They gonna fuck you up. They gonna fuck you up. Damn, boy. This how I walk down you missed. Uh-huh, you missed. I would have scraped if his running ass. down on multiple people wasn't bold enough, two days before he was killed, K. Brazi posted a video where he allegedly caught a man lacking inside of the man's house in his own bed. Don't touch nothing. Say it right now. Bro, Say I it. I never disrespect nobody, bro. I never said nothing. I never said WAP. Yeah. I never said f Rolls. I never said GB. I never said Swag. None of that. I never said I never said Alright, so let's let's just get that understood. Let's get that understood. <laughs> now his music videos and Facebook Damn. is enough to tell you 
he was affiliated with the Gangster Disciples. And the amount of dissing he do was enough to tell you he was into it with multiple people, which led everyone to believe he was killed by his ops, who blatantly took the social media, celebrating his death, and even changing their profile pictures to pictures of him dead at the scene. But according Damn. to a source close to K. Brazi, his ops had nothing to do with his demise. Brazi was 30 minutes from his yeah. home in Niagara Falls. You asked that Coco eat because she had ate my own food. Nah, no, she didn't have food. Yeah, you see that? Falls for a friend's birthday celebration. It's unclear as to how many, but his sources said K. Brazi wasn't alone when he went to the liquor store just after 5.40 in the evening. That's where he allegedly crossed paths with 37-year-old Michael Hamilton. From what I was told, Michael was with the female who one of the people K. Brazi was with recognized, and that's where the issue started. A fight popped off outside of the store, and it's unclear exactly how it played out. Michael could have been jumped, could have got beat up one-on-one, -on -one, or duck the fight altogether, and the whole thing was just a verbal argument. But what is clear is that a weapon was produced, fired, and left K. Brazi on the ground as his body shut down. Michael Hamilton was arrested just two days after the deadly shooting and charged with second degree murder and criminal possession of a firearm. News of his arrest would hit social media, leaving many residents on Niagara Falls shocked as multiple comments would speak highly of him as a family man. According to those, I ain't even gonna lie to you, like, boy, y'all niggas need to stop trying to be tough. Like, man, like, I ain't gonna lie, you can be tough all you want, boy, but it's a nigga always tougher than you. It's a nigga always tough with you, I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you, at every situation, you don't got to be tough, bro. I get it, you grown that, you a grown ass man. You gonna stand your ground, you stand for whatever, you like, but bro, shit. God damn, shit. Everything don't need to be tough, man. I'm speaking to everybody, everybody, I don't care who it is, even if you ain't in the streets, boy. Everything, you don't got to be gangster. I got a problem with that. I'll be, I'll be trying to, I'll be hot headed as hell. But I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you, Blue Gang. Those that knew him, the thought of him shooting someone was far from his character, leaving many to go as far as alleging his hand must have been forced and the victim must have been the aggressor. Now, it isn't hard to believe K. Brazi could have started a fight, seeing how wild he already was and the fact that he took pride in it. But at the same time, charged with criminal possession of a weapon. Even if people think highly of Michael Hamilton, he still illegally possessed a firearm. Which is sad to think that if New York gun laws have been corrected long ago, ah, yes, and there. citizens have the right to stay in the there's the possibility that Michael wouldn't even be in jail if it was true self-defense. But the fact that he was arrested two days later is another bad sign, as most that defend themselves with lethal force Stay on the scene or contact the police themselves. It's eerie to shit, but I mean, shit, I ain't even gonna lie to you. What? I mean, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do, but at the same time, in the heat of the moment, you know, man, niggas adrenaline running, you nervous, you're scared, you don't know what's gonna happen, you don't know how the things gonna happen, you just trying to get away from the scene, you don't know if it, like you said, they don't really know what really happened, you know? So, I don't know if he had partners, goddamn, it was, that, that was finna slide on him or something. Like, you never know. You never know. You gotta be a part of there. Gotta. Tch. I'm trying to. Eh. Look back on K. Brazi's video where a commenter tells him someone's gonna kill him before the end of this year. That's his response up. is accepting of that fact. But he replies by saying at the current moment, he's smoking someone who's already dead. It's enough to make one question the authenticity of karma and the old saying, what goes around comes around. That's fucked up. Somebody gonna end up killing you by the end of this year. Yeah, I heard that before, you heard? We, yo, you heard? Could do all that. But as of right now, at 7.36, I'm smoking that dead on his V-Day. As of right now, we don't give a f about what's gonna happen in December and November. I'm talking about right now. We smoking that dummy on his B-Day right now as we speak. Oh, lovely. Now, I'll be honest, Damn, right? Damn, nigga. 
seeing how wild dude was and seeing how many people were sticking up for Michael Hamilton. You know, I went through his Facebook, looked at his pictures. I didn't see any of the gang shit. He's 37 years old. I didn't see nothing with him throwing up gang signs or posted up in front of a fucking liquor store with eight other people. I didn't see none of that. I saw him literally with his family. A lot of the pictures looked like he was from a nice area. And even the people that were leaving the comments, you know, not trying to be judgmental, but the people that were leaving comments speaking highly of him also looked like normal citizens that were far from any type of criminal lifestyle. Versus if you go on K. Brazi's page, it's a whole nother fucking story, which makes it not that hard to believe that he could have initiated something. And when you go back to what the commenter said, someone's going to kill you before the end of this year. And he's like, hey, I've heard that before, whatever, whatever. That doesn't necessarily mean that one of his ops is going to kill him. But that the way that he's living, his actions, the energy he's putting out into the world is going to be reciprocated. And that's what's going to end his life. That person might not have been giving a threat, but giving a warning. And a whole nother conversation to add to this video is the fact that New York actually just changed their gun laws because of a Supreme Court ruling stating that it's unconstitutional to require people with a reason that they want to carry a gun to defend themselves, you know what I mean? Or that defending themselves isn't a good enough reason to want to carry a firearm in the state of New York. New York's gun laws are insane. Michael Hamilton could have been a great guy. Could have been illegally possessing that firearm to protect him, the woman he was allegedly with, his children, whatever. But he was still illegally doing so. Knowing that if he ever needed to defend himself, he's willing to accept the gun charge rather than fall victim. It seems that that's what happened. That's what I'm saying. I ain't gonna lie, boy. New York is sick as hell if they got that for real. Because, boy, like... Like... How you gonna tell me not to defend myself? Like, it's like me against another nigga that don't give a fuck about what the law say. And I'm gonna defend myself. It's like, you know? Like, you going against... Like, you got to. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Especially in this generation. Like, you got to defend yourself. You really have to defend yourself. Because ain't nobody fighting no more. Ain't nobody fighting no more. Like, girls fighting, yeah. But girls shooting... Like, girls gonna pop their ass after the fight. Like, everybody is shooting, bro. Like, if you get into some static, you gonna have to get ready to, you know, to, for it to escalate into something different. And that's a fact. It's gonna have to escalate into something different. Unless y'all close or something like y'all or y'all school or something like that. But other than that, bro, because ain't nobody trying to take no ass whooping in. Especially if y'all, like... Especially if it's on camera, it's on live, it's on... Ain't nobody trying to take no ass whooping in front of... Especially, man, if it's in front of hoes, they not doing that, bro. They not doing that, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. Only the camera store footage is gonna actually tell us that. And I'm sure it was the footage that got him arrested. Because if he went to the store, they went to the store, everyone's seen on camera. It's a liquor store, it's gonna have cameras. So it was most likely easy to put this all together. If he was with a female... She was most likely a witness, cooperated with the police department. He may have cooperated with the police department. Hey, I did it. I got scared because I had a gun I wasn't supposed to have. I shot. I left the scene because he was with multiple people. This is what played out. But unfortunately, I highly fucking doubt that New York state laws are going to favor his side. Had he been in a state like Florida or even Georgia with Stand Your Ground, is literally St. Louis. recommended by the police department, by the sheriffs. It could have played out totally differently. He probably wouldn't have even been in jail. I mean, there was even a case that I looked into in Florida of a felon committing self-defense with a firearm he legally wasn't supposed to possess, and the entire case was thrown out. But this video isn't a defense for Michael, and this video isn't to be against K. Brazi. I mean, he lived his truth. He lived his fucking life as a gangster. If that's what he wanted to be, that's what he did. And he fell victim to it. But really, this video is a message. Just like that person left a message saying, someone's gonna kill you before the end of this year. This video is a message to y'all. 
that live similar lifestyles, that do the dissing when somebody dies, thinking that it can't happen to you until it fucking happens. Nobody signs up for the military wanting to die, but they sign up understanding it could happen. It's the same thing with gangbanging. And for some reason, people think gangbanging, there's a less of a chance you're gonna die because whatever, you could go here, you could go there. It doesn't fucking matter. You can run into a bullet anywhere. You're only making the chances of it happening to you that much greater. But hey, it's 10. Yeah, man, cause I ain't gonna lie, boy. Shit, you got hours, boy. And anybody you don't like have relatives. Anybody you don't like have relatives. And they might be on the same type of time as they on. Like, they might be even more thorough than the person you have a problem with. Like, like. And then at the same time, you don't know him. So you always got to be on super. So his people, he just told him about you. And you don't know him. So he looking for you. And you don't know who the dude is. But it's vice versa, though. You tell your people, no. You don't like him, and they on him. So he ain't gonna know. But at the same time, you know, it's vice versa. So it ain't gonna end. Oh, it ain't gonna end. Like, that's, it ain't gonna end. That's crazy. Naughty Jake. I'm rocking with y'all, and y'all rocking with me. Till next time. But like I said, man, like, comment, subscribe, man. More videos coming soon, man. I probably might drop one to, to, to probably another one. Whole time I might drop another one today or tomorrow, but for sure, for sure tomorrow. But like I said, like, comment, subscribe, man. More videos coming soon, man. Tap in, man. If y'all see me on Instagram, anything, man, DM me. I react to y'all people stuff. I react to anybody. Whatever y'all want to do, as long as it, you know, you know, you know, lit or something to react to, you know? Yeah.